Okay, so today's video is gonna be something that we haven't actually done in a very, very long time. And for those of you that are OGs, well, one, this is Micah. Just, okay. But two, the OGs would remember that I created this thing called, I think it was originally called Makeup, Books, and Ice Cream. We didn't get ice cream. We did at first, like the first two times, but then we stopped because she didn't like really care for the ice cream part. So then it just became Makeup and Books. And I created this when she was like 14 or 15 because she, one, she was my only child and two, I did, it was my first time like parenting a teenager. And so I was realizing that all the things that had worked when she was younger, like connecting with her wasn't working. And so I was like, you know what, what if like I take her to get like makeup and books and it just, that was the name I came up with for it. And it was like our thing that we did because she was spending, you know, your social life, you were always out with your friends. And it was just like the one time that it was just me and her. And we did it a lot. And now I don't have a social life anymore and I want to do it more often. Twins. <laughs> Um, so we are, that's what we're going to do for today's video. So of course, books is up first and you already know where we're at. I, I actually would love to go to half price because I can just like get romance novels there. But I'm also going to need recommendations from you guys. You know, my two favorite romance authors are Joanna Lindsay and Julie Garwood. And unfortunately, jo Joanna Lindsay passed away. So, um, there won't be any more books from her, but and I've read all of Julie Garwood's stuff. I need to know who else I need to read that is very similar to those two. Um, one of you actually put me on Julie Garwood, so thank you so much because she's amazing. But I really, if I'm being honest, I don't know if I'm gonna get a book today. Actually, I'm gonna get Never. I watched, I watched Micah's vlog. If you guys don't watch or follow her channel, I watched her vlog. You had me cackling out loud. I was in my car, I was walk, like just listening to you and you were talking about Jameson. It was so funny. Jameson Hook is where it's at. Okay, thank you. <laughs> His Scottish accent when you're reading it, I just love it. Yeah, I've, so, I've got to read I'll, it. I love when the characters have accents. Anyways, so we do like to have our own copies. So if you're wondering like why that is, but... It's, it's personal. I'm also, I annotated mine. So yeah, I don't want... Yeah, she... You can't touch mine. <laughs> so I, that is a book I definitely know I'm going to pick up today. Um, but I really wanted to like get my historical romance stuff because that's where I like to be. But we are also, so we're going to go to Barnes and Noble. Then we're going to go to makeup. So I guess Sephora because you got gift cards for Easter. And then we're also going to go to the moving trading company. So we're going to like actually probably get some DVDs. I think we're the last people on earth. What if we went and it wasn't there anymore? I think I'd cry. I... I wouldn't know. It's it's. It's there. like this indie movie store that sells like video games, movies, like every type of. They sell CDs, albums. Like it's a very indie shop. Yeah. And I've been going to it since you were little. I was very tiny. Yeah. And and I still believe in CDs. We were. I've taken her there so long that some of the first purchases were VHS tapes. Yeah. Like, um. I actually want to look at some, like, classic I mean, movies. There's a picture of me with all my VHS tapes, I think. Oh, yeah. They're, like, lined up on a shelf. Yeah. We still have all of them, too. Uh, I have all of her VHS tapes. They're probably worth so much. I know, like, Little Mermaid is worth a lot because they messed up, like, the cover or something. I don't know. But we're not getting rid of them. Anyways, so that's today's video featuring this one. She's eager because a book has come out, right? Mm-hmm. Wild Love came out today by Elsie Silver. But it just came out today. It's only 11 o'clock. Oh, okay. Girlies are crazy. Oh, they were here at 8 a.m.? Okay. There was a storm, so also, there's still going to be storms tonight. My premium membership needs to be renewed on the 15th. I wonder if we can renew it early. Okay, first of all, look at this magnolia tree. Like, that's massive. Ooh, 
Your hair is so long. I know. <laughs> this isn't Starbucks. Oh, it is, yeah. That is cute. I wonder if they have the rest of the gym. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, they're not. Oh, I guess they do, but it's like the movie version. It's like this new thriller that cut this out. It's like all over the top right now. Where's Never at? Oh, it's gonna be over here. Wait, where would my romance novels be? She, she basically works here. It would just be in this. There's a coloring book. I have this one. You have this one? Look at this one. Throne of Glass? Oh my god, they have the Throne of Glass special edition. I have the... Look how cute this is. I have the... Um, a Court of Thorns uh, special edition. I wow, know. these are pretty. Don't they give like... Sarah J. Moss makes me so mad in a way because she's so genius. You like, know she had, de you know she had. Why not think of it? With Margot Robbie the other day. Oh really? I'm like my girl. Oh no, because she has a production company. Because she's not happy with like. No, this was got picked up by Hulu. Right. And I hated that. Yeah. Because I want if they're gonna make bring this to life, I either want it in animation, like hardcore, like almost like. I want it to be done like HBO Game of Thrones style, yes. like budget. Like yes. I don't want it to be Hulu, yeah. eight episode. Like no. no. That is so cute. Oh, right there. See, so look. So her. That's a pretty book. So she has an indie. Like these are her new covers for Magnolia Parks. They're like picked up. Oh, by the Gossip Girl one that you said. Yeah. The girl's on a mission. She knows what she wants, and where it's at. Yep. See, look. This is the book? Yeah. This is her chestnut springs here. Honestly, I would love a good murder mystery, but I feel like they don't make them the way I would like. Like something fun, not something too, like is this, is this that? A bake shop mystery? But I also don't want it to be like hallmarky. We're still doing this? Like after all these years, we're still doing this. This is a nun. So excited! All right, we're at the next stop, which is Moving Trading Company. Here you go, Miss.
you to buy. Oh, okay. See, That's nice. I gotta be smart. This okay, we also got swig. I got Riptide. You just got a Sprite. Um, so we went to Barnes and Noble. We went to the Moving Training Company, and we went to Sephora. So makeup and books and movies. Makeup, books, movies. I didn't get a movie. N no, but I did. So let's start off with Barnes and Noble first. Your stuff is over here. I'm oh, did we, you like it too? We separated. Oh, you separated our stuff? Yeah. The books too? Yeah, did you just oh, get two okay. or another one? Oh, no. So, I did end up getting Never. Because, you know, she influenced me from her video. I'm very excited. I mean, this cover's gorgeous. She's going to fall in love with Jameson like I did. Yeah. Very excited for that journey. It's very whimsical. And then, of course, this is just so me. This was like a mystery magazine. I was like, a ma mystery magazine? So, I don't know. I was just like, okay. Mom, you know those games we used to play online? There's this one hidden objects game we used to play. It had like a story and it's kind of like a murder mystery. Oh, I have all those still. On my computer? That was like my favorite game. I just, I never remember like what it's called. Do you want me to go find out? Not right now. But yeah. It's called, um... It, you, you start it at like a car. There was like a car. You know exactly which one I'm talking about. We're going to be here a long time. And it's a gloomy day. It's literally a perfect day to like read. And... Come on, girl. You show them your stuff. Okay. Um, I guess we'll start with some of my books. I'll do the rest of my books on my channel. I'll be doing a haul on my channel too. So, little promo. You're going to see the rest of my stuff. I'll show some though. Um, I got this book. It's called The Prison Healer. I've heard a lot of things about this book. I don't know if it would be categorized as fantasy, Whoa. but it's by Lynette Noni. I said I wanted to read this this year and I got the physical copy. So here we are. Okay. Yes, Mystery Case Files. Dire Grove. Yep. That's so fun. good. All the Mystery Case Files, I'm out of breath. Running there back. Too much for me. But any mystery case files is so good. I'll link this one down below. Um, you can also get these from Walmart, by the They're way. Like, like this one's favorite. not at Walmart because it's older, but I will link this one down below. It's so good. I used to play them as like, <coughs> I used to play them growing up with my mom. We would always like yeah. help each other. Anyways, my next book I got is this release. It came out today. This is like what took us to Barnes. Yeah, it's Wild Love by Elsie Silver. Um, I'll be talking about this in my next video. Like it's a new release and I got it. And it's, it's a beautiful. pretty cover. Well, Bloom. Like monochromatic. Bloom, all my really pretty covers are from Bloom. Like uh, this is Bloom. Oh really? Oh, that's yeah. a publishing company? Mm -hmm. They are really, they do such good jobs on book covers and it's just everything. And this is like kind of like a spinoff series of her Chestnut, Sun Chestnut Spring series. It's like yeah. a cowboy romance. Love it's it. It's fun, it's fun. Okay. Love that for you. So those are two new books. This one I've read already, but I read the whole Addicted series on my phone. It really got me into reading again, but I've been slowly buying them all physically because they're all slowly coming out. Um, and so I got Fuel the Fire. It was my next one on the list. And I was like, I should get one like every time I go so I can eventually have them all. This is Rose and Connor's story. They're my favorite. Then, I got another new book called Ready or Not. Um, it's kind of similar to the book Out on a Limb. Uh, I don't know, it's, I heard some people on Book Talk talk about it. It's a cute little rom-com and why not? I love the cover too. It's, God, we haven't had a really good rom-com movie since like You've Got Mail. I was gonna, no. How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, Andy Anderson. Get Kathleen it. Kelly? Yeah. Kathleen oh, Kelly? Early 2000s was rom-com central. Okay. But look at this cover, Mom. Look how pretty it, it is. It is very pretty. Oh, I love it. Kathleen Kelly. She lived in a brownstone. Anyways, next I got my first Abby Jimenez book. And I got Yours Truly. I've been wanting to read this so badly. Everyone talks about it 
on the book internet space. Um, I heard there's like an anxiety rep too in here and I think it's the main male character. So I always like seeing that in books, you know, a little representation in there, mental health that matters. So I'm excited to read that. And then I'll do one more. I was just laughing at how she said that, not what she said. For ugh, this haul. I'm saving the rest for my haul. Okay. Last one for this haul is Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies by Heather. Heather is Fawcett. it an encyclopedia? No, so it's a oh, story. It's just the title of it. Yeah. Emily Wilde is the character. And she, in college, she studied like lore and fairies and that was like her major. And she goes to this one town and her like rival, like this man, he goes to, and they're, I don't know like the full details of the story, but it's kind of like rivals to lovers. They end up working together to figure out this, but like, I think fairies are real. I'm not really sure. It's a really like mix. Oh, cool. Yeah. And you kind of see them, it's like a slow burn, they fall in love. And yeah. It was one of the books I was half off. Yeah. They were having a sale. 50% off, buy one, get one, 50% off. So yeah. And then I'll do, I, there's only two left, but I'll do those for my book. And then two Twisted Crowns. I have One Dark Window, the first one, and I need the second one. It's a duology, so this is the last one. And this one was 50% off, so. Had to grab it while I was there. All okay, right. then we popped in. So I just got the two things and then she got those. And then we popped into a movie trading company and show them what you got. Okay, first, I movie trading company didn't sell comics. Like I never saw comics there until recently, I guess. They I think they always sold them. I never saw them. Mm -hmm. But if you don't know, Spider-Man is my favorite superhero ever to exist. Marvel in general is my favorite. I mean, I do love Batman. They know because I find all the cute little Spider-Man stuff from you from Dollar Tree. <laughs> yeah. I like the Batman and like Nightwing and Robin. That's fun too. But I'm a Marvel Spider-Man. So I thought these would be really cute to like frame and yeah. like put in my reading room. And they're like Spider-Man comics. Really fun. I, this one's my favorite. Yeah, that one's my favorite Him too. Him reading like a magazine. I don't know. I just thought these were really cool and they were pretty cheap. $3.99. I was surprised by the price, I think. I don't know why I expected them to be more. Yeah. I feel because it's like vintage-y. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's what I got for comics. I freaked out when I saw this one, the Casper, because I've been actually wanting to get, find a bunch of these vintage Casper books. And I really want Wendy as well, but I looked and I couldn't find it. This was $4.99. I love Casper. Yeah. Just, you already know I'm a oh, we're halfway. This. We're almost halfway. <coughs> or I think we are halfway to Halloween. I know. She loves fall. Um, and then I got the Archie. I just really liked all the covers. Obviously, it's Archie, so it's just, it just has that classic feel to it. $2.99 for Archie. Team Betty. Yeah. But I definitely got... Um, yeah, is that, there's Betty right there and Archie. Is Veronica on there? Um, she might be in the back over there. Oh yeah, she's right there. I'm having maybe, uh, Jughead's behind them too. Yeah, let me, let's see. I stopped watching Riverdale, but it's over now, right? Mm-hmm. It didn't end how I wanted Yeah, Jughead and Veronica are in yeah. the back. Cute. Cute, right? Mm -hmm. So those were the two comics that I got. I only and got then, one. Oh yeah, show them. So I mentioned in one of my videos, my hobbies videos, that I played video games my whole life. Um, she got that from me because I've played video games my whole life. And my uncle, her brother. Yeah, I, I grew up, so I grew up a year and like two months apart from my brother. So like I was very tomboy. I, I wanted to do what he was doing. So like I idolized him. So like I grew up playing all the like video GTA, games. GTA, Grand Theft Auto. G yeah, Gran Turismo. Um, all, all, the, all that stuff. I said GTA and then I said Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, yeah. Come on now. Anyways, then he started playing like Modern Warfare, Black Ops, stuff like that. I really got into that. And then yeah. I got into like story games, like Last of Us Uncharted. 
-hmm. all those games those are like my favorite type of games and like when i play these kind of games i always play the campaign or story mode i'm not really an online player like i don't really play online with other people that's why i'm not really a fortnite person i just like playing story mode but i keep telling her i've i just started telling her this when you like turned 16 when what came out that was really big the last of us no 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 no, no. I started telling her when she was 16 that she should have played video games online. Oh. Uh, what was it called at the time? Twitch. Twitch. I was like, because she has the funniest commentary. Like, I'll watch her play. I used to play in the living room. Like, I used to not. Yeah. The Because that used to be our DVD player, too. Yeah. So, I would, like, during the summers, like, I remember, like, freshman summer going into sophomore year of high school, I would be up until, like, 5 a.m. Oh, I know. And, like, my mom would set me up, and I just, my mom would be asleep, and then the next morning she'd be, like, ready for work, and I'd be like, I'm going to bed. <laughs> True story. Yeah. No, except one time. I think I've told this story. I have told this story before, but one time I got her the Brat Stall video game, and I stayed up all night playing it. And then I had to like call into work because I literally stayed up all night playing the Brat Stall. I remember Stall you game. taking me to school and telling me that, and I was like, I don't want to stay home. Called okay. in, called in to work. I didn't. But anyways, I got Modern Warfare three because I didn't even know the third one came out. I asked for it for my birthday. You did. So. Modern Warfare 3, I, the game ended on a cliffhanger. Why does he look like he's a cowboy? He's oh, not. He's British. Oh. Look at his, I forget oh. his name. Yeah, this is like all, like the group we're in comes from all like special ops from all over the world. We have British, American. Oh, okay. Um, everywhere. So Modern Warfare 2 ended on a cliffhanger and I've been needing to know what happened. So I splurged and got the third game and I'm gonna be downloading it today and I'm gonna be playing it today. Yeah. So yeah. Okay, and my movies that I got before we then went to Sephora. So I saw this one movie pack. It was like where it has like multiple movies and one of them was Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. I was like, oh, I want that, but I didn't want the other movies in it. So she went and actually found it for me. So I don't know why I don't have this. Plus I've never seen it. And it feels so wrong Dick to, Van say, Dyke. to say I've never seen this. I love Dick Van Dyke. $4.99, you gotta watch it. Then I got Coming to America because why do I not own this? That's a good I, one another one I feel ashamed of. That's a good one. I don't think I liked the new one that came out. I didn't watch. I haven't even seen the first one. But like, love me some Eddie Murphy. And then this one's one of those that has multiple movies, and I actually have one of them. But the reason why I got it anyways was, was because there's three others in here, and this was actually the style of movies I was looking for, but I couldn't find them individually. So I have this one. If a man answers. And it's so funny and cute. Like, highly recommend that one. Then we've got That Funny Feeling. I've never seen that. Tammy Tell Me True. I've never seen that. And then Tammy and the Doctor. Who's Tammy? Why is she, why is she? I feel like this is a whole series of Tammy. I feel like there was a character. Yeah, Sandra D. That's, that, that's who plays this Tammy. I think she did like a whole series of this character. Oh. Sandy? No, no, not Sandra. <laughs> Grease lightning, go no. Grease lightning. No, 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 no. No, Sandra D. Yeah, no, 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 no. And Peter Fonda. Uh, mm, yeah. Different sweet. Sandys. Okay. Yeah. Um, anyways, so these were the three movies that I picked up. However, I feel like next time, and I actually used to do this, we used to go to movie training companies so much that I would actually have a running list so that I would remember what movies I wanted because you get in there and it's my so easy leave, to my like. My mom would leave with a pile like this and I'd leave with a pile like this. <laughs> but yeah, and we still have that pile. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. We have it all. We, and I even inherited my brother's DVDs. Like he oh, got yeah. rid of all that. I, I was like, give them to me. Cause what happens when the world goes to shit? What, what happens when your Wi-Fi goes down? And you down? can't stream. Well, we need electricity though. Okay, we have generators. See? And then y'all will need to come over and watch movies because we're going to be the ones that have it. Yeah. Okay, so that's that. And then we went to Sephora. I guess you're going to show them a couple things and then she's going to show the rest of it in her video. I only took out like two things. I have like the main stuff. Okay, first I got this Hourglass um, concealer because 
the concealer I have right now doesn't is not a shade match, and I've heard which I got her. I I think I it's fine. Like look, I have it on right now. It's not terrible. The well, Kosas, it could be Kosas? yeah, it could be better. So I just wanted to get, and I've heard really great things about the Hourglass concealer, um, and I really wanted to try it out. So that was my perfect opportunity to grab it. And then. I like got rid of all of my palettes because they were just super old and just not, I don't know, not my vibe. I am way more basic now with my makeup, I guess you could say. How do I? You've been like me. Lately, you've been using eyeshadow as. Yeah, I've been doing I mean, that for you've years. You've been using blush as eyeshadow. Blush bronzer yeah, or. That's what I do. And then using it as my eyeliner too. Yeah. But makeup by Mario is, I've heard it is so good. I mean, yeah, he does Kim Kardashian's makeup and Megan uses makeup by Mario and she loves it. She's always trying to get me to buy it and I did. So, I got this, it's the Master Matte's eyeshadow palette and it's literally just like perfect. It has, I feel like every shade you could possibly need. Like the black I'll use for like, these two I could use for eyeliner. And smoking out if you wanted to ever do that. And these are perfect for hazel eyes because you can't tell from afar, you look like we just have brown eyes, but me and my mom have hazel eyes. Where our brown comes from, couldn't tell you. No, our whole family is like blues and greens, solid blues and greens. Even on my other my side brother's of the family, eyes are blue and <coughs> blue and green. Yeah, and we got I got this. There's no nobody in our family that has brown eyes. So where this came from, we don't know. But we have the green, but it's just hazel. Maybe we should call my mom and ask her. No. Anyways. That's that. So, and then yeah. one more thing. I got this lip oil by Gisu. I have a lot of their hair products and I love their hair products, but their lip oil. So I cute. not gonna lie, I wanted one, but then what did I tell you? I was like, I'm gonna go to Timu. Every time we do makeup and books, she always is like, I always get so much. And then by the time we get back, I'm like, oh, where's your makeup? She's like, I didn't get any. I'm like, because there was, all, I have makeup, but there was only one thing I wanted. And it's that, that, what's it called? The, the fairy pics, the winky pixie, <coughs> pixie, what is it? Pixie. Pixie, it's sold at Target, and I wanted the blush stick. Yeah, you can get that on Amazon. Yeah. Anyways, it's the watermelon sugar, Harry Styles. Anyway, but it tastes really good. I want to like Yeah, they have a honey one, they have a strawberry one. The honey one is I'm there. I'm not going to lie, it, it like almost got me. It almost got me. The honey is what I have in all the hair, like my hair perfume. It's the most popular. Oh my God, it smells so good. It's yeah. But I wanted something, I don't know, I have the honey stuff in like all my hair products. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get something fun for my lips. Yeah, something fun for summer. And it tastes good. Like I keep like, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, That's it. I think your generation needs Tide Pods, so don't eat your lipstick. Okay, so that is it for our makeup and books and movies. But I don't know if anybody needed this idea. Maybe you don't have to do makeup in books with like your preteen or your teen, but that's how it actually started. If you've just now started following me. Um, it, it was originally like, we would just go to half price and con patch. We would honestly yes. forget makeup half the time. I'd be yes, like, that's true. That is true. It really was. Remember, like, there's one specific time I remember and it was like raining really bad. No. You don't remember? It was like oh, such a rainy day, like worse than this. You just pouring, we went to Cotton Patch, I got my Caesar salad with my queso. We, we had to get our own queso because we ended up fighting over it. If you don't know about Cotton Patch's queso. It's probably the most basic, like, they get the store, the ingredients from Walmart. Like, it's I don't nothing know, but it's special, so but good. it's so good. So good. But yeah, so anyways, that's what we did today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Loki's over here. He's staring at his girls. He's like... What the heck? I got adopted by two girls. Think about it. <laughs> okay. Bye.